So, after doing a video about me spending seven days learning how to make Roblox animation in Blender, and me also learning how to make Roblox VFX in Blender, I have to say, I was really amazed on how much support and loves you guys showed me. Not only that, but the challenges I did were actually really fun, and I really enjoyed them, and you guys do as well. So I thought about it on my bed, and after thinking about it, I felt like doing another one. So, once again, I got off of my bed again and got on my PC, but I was confused. I already did a 7 days making Roblox animation, and did a 7 days Roblox VFX in Blender, so I didn't know what else I could possibly do. I was so frustrated because I didn't know what I could possibly do next. And for the most dumbest reason, I decided to ask ChatGPT for help. This was the absolutely most dumbest thing I ever done. I just simply asked ChatGPT, what is a good seven days challenge video that is something related to Roblox and Blender? I am telling you right now, I regret of what I just did because I got the worst types of responses. These recommendation that ChatGPT offer me was absolutely terrible. They weren't even worth trying. They weren't even good. And I should have known, because ChatGPT is not really good for making option like these. So I look on YouTube searching for anything to help me. But for whatever reason, something pop into my head. And I had the perfect idea. I was gonna spend the next seven days learning how to make Roblox 3D models. This was the perfect one. At least, that's what I think. I looked around YouTube looking to see if anyone have done anything similar to what I am about to do, and unfortunately, no one has posted anything similar to mine's. Well, that's a disappointing. I really think this is gonna be hard, but also gonna be fun. I scroll on YouTube, and I see all of these big YouTubers doing all sorts of these seven days challenge video. They do stuff like scripting, animating, VFX, making a game, but none of them have ever done a modeling seven days challenge. So here I am gonna be the one who changed that. Anyway, get your popcorn and watch as I do another seven days challenge. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Welcome to the seven day making Roblox 3D model in Blender. Day one, the start of the journey. For day one, I wanted to see what I could make, even though I was new to modeling in Blender. I've done animating and VFX inside of the Blender, but never done modeling, even though Blender specialized in making 3D modeling. I thought for the first day, it would be nice to make some type of armor. So I got a Roblox rig and put it into Blender and I just started making a bunch of random Roblox armor. I didn't get any reference of armor to see what I would make. I just extrude and bevel a bunch of cubes to make something. I didn't care what I was making, just want to see what I could create. But after spending like 40 minutes, this what is I made? This doesn't look that bad. I like it. Just wish I could add textures on the armor and add better color. But beside from that, the modeling parts, I like it. But anyway, this is all I did for day one. I wanted to take this challenge very slow. I wasn't in a rush for anything. Day two, weird spiky ball thing. For day two, I was planning to make some weird spiky ball from a sphere. I looked back at day one and saw that I might have did too much. First time modeling, and I saw myself already modeling a armor for the Roblox rig. I think I need to learn the basic like extruding, cuts, beveling, you know, like all those stuff that is mainly used for modeling. And instead of watching a tutorial on YouTube or something, I wanted to see if I can make anything without any help. But for this day specifically, I didn't really use bevel nor cuts, just mainly extruding and scaling. And just for fun, I decided to sculpt the spiky ball real quick. I try to make the spiky parts on the ball know a straight line. I try to curve them a little bit. After spending like 20 minutes, I think, this is what I was able to make. Uh, it's not good, nor is it bad. I say we did all right for day two. I try to add a specific material on the spiky ball, 
but it has been a while since I have touch nodes, and since it has been a while, I forgot most of nodes and what they even do. But despite that, I saw I did all right for day two. Day three, a bench journey. For day three, I just wanted to build a nice bench like you would see at a park or at a street or something. But anyway, that is all I was building. I don't know how or why I thought of building this. But this is something just for practicing because I have something planned for day four. And this was really going to help me. I was learning about extruding, beveling, scaling, and duplicating. I try to put material mode on the bench. And let's just say I did my best. This is what I made for day three. Not bad. Looks like something you would see at a park. I really think the material and the texture should have done a little bit better. But still, not bad. Day 4, Sung Jin Wu Dagger. For day 4, all I did was made a dagger from solo leveling. Since solo leveling won best anime of 2024, I decided it would be fun to make something from solo leveling. All I did was just look up a dagger from solo leveling on Google and looked for a reference picture. But later on working on the dagger, I realized I did the entire thing wrong or I am not doing it correctly. So I got myself an add-on I found online, which really did help me out a lot. So I restarted the project, since the first one was really bad, and took four hours and still wasn't completed. But the second one was a lot faster, took me an hour and a half. I even add color on the object. But this is what I was able to make. This is not bad. I like it. Sure, I feel like the material could be put a little bit better instead of a plain color. But despite that, the actual model itself looks great. This one took me nearly eight hours in total to get it done in a day. But this is all I did for day four. Day 5. The Second Armor Attempt For Day 5, I try to attempt to make another armor for a Roblox rig, just like I did on Day 1. But since I got a lot more knowledge and skills over the past couples of days, I felt confident to remake something again. For this model, I didn't get any reference of what type of thing for an armor I was going for. I just added whatever came the first thing out of my head. Although, before I started the modeling for day five, I did watch this video I found on YouTube, and it was called How to Make Roblox 3D Models. This video was the only tutorial I ever needed to learn how to making Roblox armors, or models in general. I added color on the armor so the model could really stand out. I even use a mirror modifier to make my live easier for modeling the legs and the arm. And for some odd reason, I didn't record myself making the helmet. I think there was an error or something, but either way, I forgot to record myself making the helmet, so forgive me. But anyway, this is what I did for day five. This is a really cool looking armor I made. I say it was worth it. Who knows, I might even put this on Roblox and try to wear my own accessory on Roblox. I'll find a way later, but either way, I like it, and I hope you will like it too. Let me know what you guys think about this on my second attempt of making a Roblox armor in Blender. Day 6. Another armor attempt. For day 6, I was going to be spending the day making another armor, because I got something planned for day 7, and I needed all the practice I could get. This one I use a reference from Igris. It's a cooling looking knight, so why not? But since this only showed a 2D model image, it's was very hard. I couldn't see the side or the back, so I had to visualize what it could possibly look like. And let's just say it didn't go well as I expected. But after some time modeling, this is what I was able to make. Doesn't look that bad. There was some stuff that had to be redo. For instance, the side of the arm was too wide. I had to shorten it a little bit, but didn't know how to do that. And I had to add hair for the helmet, but I didn't want it to do it anyways, because I didn't know how to do it, and I didn't felt like learning the hair particles. 
that's for another day. But, anyway, this is what I did for day six. Moving on to day seven. Day seven, the final armor attempt. For day seven, I was going all out. I was making sure I did everything the best I can because usually when it comes to these day seven videos, I like to do the best I can for the last day. I was making egress again because looking back at day six, I knew this definitely needs some rework. But this one was so hard to do, I had to do a lot of scaling and extruding. I got a reference and put it into Blender so I could get an idea on how to make it. And the best part, I found an image that could help me that show the front and back side of Igris. Didn't show the sides, but this was perfect. I add the colors on the armor once it was done, but instead of going for the color the image looks, I decided to make the color just black and blue, just like the rest of the armor. But this is what it looks like when it was finished. I say this looks really good. I even add a cape to make it really stands out from the rest of the armor. I really like this armor, and I hope you guys liked it too. Now I could have ended the video right here right now, but for those who knows me, I don't do that. I decided to take all of these models and everything I've done and made this for y'all. This one took me a day to make, but the render time took like seven days. But anyways, this is the final results. This is for you guys.